The village of Chigoch is located in Lonshko Polya Nature Park, along the Sava River Valley. In 1994, Euronatur, the European Nature Heritage Fund, proclaimed Chigoch to be the first European stork village. There are more storks than inhabitants in the village, which is actually a blessing for the villagers, because it brings them protection and recognition, plus a state subsidy. Enjoying the rich resources of food in the area, the white stork has found its horn of plenty. They build their nests on the rooftops of old village houses. Apparently, it's a sign of good luck to have one of these nests on your roof. The houses made of oak wood with traditional architecture are another particularity of the village. Their main feature is that they can be dismantled and relocated to escape the floods. Most of them date back to the beginning of the 20th century, although some are already 200 years old. It's not just the houses that are deteriorating. Sometimes At the even moment, the storks we have fall uh, ill or get injured. 25 storks in 20, uh, rescue, yes. Uh, yeah, in rescue Some of them in, uh, are in Zagreb. Zagreb. Uh, near to Zagreb, uh, about uh, 30 kilometers from the downtown on the uh, near to Slovenian border. Okay. Yes. And uh, we have a cage uh, about uh, 250 square meters, 5 meters long and uh, possibility to uh, fly around. Oh, fantastic. And when we uh, release the storks, they are all ready for the... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The heron belongs to the yes, same sir. family yes, as the stork. And you can see many storks that, uh, apart from the metal ring, that was a standard ringing scheme, they are also having these yellow rings, starting with number T, and then you have the coat. The storks are ringed when they are young enough to be in the nest, but big enough to... Uh, so their legs should be big enough to get the ring. So usually it's, uh, it's carried out when they are approximately three weeks old. They are they are, so they are big enough, but they are small enough so they will not jump out of the nest. And then we are climbing on the nests using this uh, movable platform. So the platform lifts you to the nest and the ringing is taking place in the nest. So what is also important is that uh, no harm is done, be done to the birds. And their primary behavior when the ringer is coming they will just sit on the nest and pretend they're not there mm. and then it's easy to ring them so they will be still and the ringing is done in five minutes and that's all the disturbance that the storks will suffer. So, apart, but uh, I would say in average we used to ring here in Lonsko Polia approximately 100 chicks per year and also in some other parts a few couple hundreds too. So quite far from the native side, so these things are very interesting to answer and to see basically these uh, changes yes. within, the countries and the within countries and the areas, yes. But this is also a very important because it maintains the gene flow in the stork population. The same storks from one year to another and we know the life history and we have uh, multiple sightings all along the migration route and also in the in the villages yes. where they breed. Yeah. So and the name of the house where they are born? And yes, and the name, address of the house. And we suspect, but we also can track the, basically that one stork is populating with some other storks in the same breeding season and stuff like that. So we know when he changed the wife or yeah. wife died in the meantime, whatever. Yeah. We have the okay. listing of sightings, yes, and we know how many chicks they had, for example, subsequently in the seasons, and how productive they are, and how good as a couple, I would say, to raise how many chicks they can raise. It's giving the face behind the stalk. Yeah. <laughs>